What did you change the most in your daily process or what I would call your personal operating system to lose the weight but keep the weight off? Uh, what did I change personally? I started eating way, way, way more cleaner and I started, it ain't even, you know what? I'm not going to even say I started eating way cleaner. I started making my own food. Simple as that. I started making my own food. I mean, literally. And that's what kept the weight off because even when I was working out, right, we still was traveling a lot, going out of town. So I still had to eat at certain restaurants, even though they was plant based, so-called vegan restaurants. But I noticed my weight would come back up from when I left from home. Whenever I go home, I lose seven to 10 pounds and keep it down and you will see my lean muscle mass. But as soon as I go traveling and we gone for 10 weeks, I would gain seven to 10 pounds. But I was eating the same thing. So what I did was I said, hold on, even though I'm eating the same thing when I'm out of town, it's something in these ingredients that they cooking in the back of these kitchens that I can't see that's, that's making me gain weight. And what it was was the seed oils. When we, when we cut out the seed oils and we stopped eating all fried foods and we made sure we ate only organic because they would tell you it's organic at these restaurants and pro they probably not. And they, don't, they won't tell you what seed oils they're using. Once we kicked out the seed oils, we kicked out fried foods and we, we went 100% organic and we kicked out all of the heavy starches and carbohydrates. That's how I lost weight and been maintaining my weight. That's literally what we've been doing. So 99% of the things I put in my mouth, I'm picking it, I'm growing it, or I'm going and getting it from the organic section, and I'm cooking it myself. I don't, I fired my cooks, I fired everybody. I make my own food. I do, I make my own food. In my line I be, we make our own food every single day. And I noticed that, that and, and I found that to be therapeutic for me too, because not only is it is it a way for me to meditate? Vibe yeah, and I know what I'm putting in my body, and I and I'm doing these things from scratch, and I'm making my stuff from scratch. So that's that's what it was. So it really wasn't a motiv motivational part. Yeah. It was just doing the process of elimination. Why in the hell every time I go out of town, I I get bigger, and then okay, it ain't this because you're still working out when you're out of town. You're still doing your breath work. You're still maintaining your meditations. You're still disciplined. What's the common denominator? Oh, it's the food that I'm eating. Well, you're eating the same food. Well, maybe it's how the food is prepared and maybe it's the origins of where that food is coming from. And that's what it was. So once I started prepping and preparing my own food, I've been main maintaining my same weight. And uh, there's a second part to the question, right? Um, and you explained it, right? But I want you to delve more. Why is it so important for people to constantly reevaluate and update their personal operating system? Uh, you have to. I mean, if when, when you're done talking, right? We are biological computers. If we are biological computers, that means we have a biological software. According to any tech, all software need to be what? Updated. If not, it'll get stuck in time and then the actual environment around that operating system will become too advanced and then that chip or that program can't keep up with the outside external environment. So it's very, very good to constantly reevaluate yourself and reinvent yourself, should I say, and constantly question yourself and things that you're doing while you're here in this matrix, because it's a grid. We're in a holographic universe. We're in a holographic reality. This is a simulation. You are biological computer chips operating through this simulation. You have to update your information. You have to update your wisdom, your knowledge base. You have to update your knowledge. You have to update your body to keep up with not only society, but keep up with consciousness because consciousness is forever expanding and growing. And you will get left behind. <laughs> These are facts. Yeah, yeah. And you walk out on the streets and you see people left behind every day, all day. You, you see it. And just not, you don't only see it in conversation, you see it in people clothing, what they wearing. You see it in the way people interact with themselves and other people. You see it in the way people communicate. You see it, you see people get left behind every day because they don't look in the mirror and they don't reevaluate themselves to reinvent yourself. You have to constantly reinvent yourself. Everything in nature does it. Everything have a shedding process in nature. Snakes shed their skin, dogs lose their fur. Everybody go through these reinvention or this cocooning phase in their life multiple times before they die. Even your cells go through it, it's called autophagy. Every 120 days your urethrocytes or what you will call red blood cells die off and renew themselves. The bones, every bone in your body reconstruct itself every seven years. Every four to seven years, your hair follicle sheds off and you grow new thicker follicles and strands. The nervous system, every cell in your body reincarnate or reinvent itself to keep up with society, to keep up with the environment that the biological body is in. Why don't, why don't you think you need to do that with your mindset? Because by default, 
every essence of your body do it. But when it comes to mindset, we just stuck in our ways and we want to stay the same. And all of those people end up lonely and dying alone, dying by themselves.